Rescuers continued to search for survivors in the rubble of collapsed buildings on Monday, as the scale of the damage caused by Nepal's worst earthquake in eight years became clear. Since Friday's quake, thousands of buildings in Jharkhand and the neighboring Rukum West district have collapsed or developed cracks, making them uninhabitable. Sifting through the debris and trying to retrieve what's left, Pavitra Cholongiri is at a loss when it comes to what the future holds for her and her family. We have nothing left. Dust from the debris is entering our noses and mouths. We can't see properly due to the dust. We have dust in our ears. What do we do? We are in a very bad situation. The children are complaining that they are hungry. We don't have a place to stay, nor food to eat, or clothes to wear. No one is looking after us. Nepal police spokesperson Kuba Kadiat said authorities would keep looking for survivors, then quickly address relief and rehabilitation for affected families. The government treats the injured free of charge. In Kathmandu, the government said it would make immediate arrangements for shelter, food and safety for displaced families and provide $1,500 to the families of each of those killed as immediate relief. Some survivors in Kiuri, who belong to the untouchable Dalit community, according to Nepal's Hindu customs, said no government representative had yet visited or offered help. Survivors said they heard loud noises of collapsing buildings soon after the quake struck. The quake had a magnitude of 6.4, according to Nepal's National Seismological Center, while the US Geological Survey measured it at 5.6. It was the country's deadliest since 2015. Then, some 9,000 people were killed by two quakes that reduced whole towns and centuries-old temples to rubble and destroyed more than a million homes at a cost of at least $6 billion.